Good morning, my fine feathered friends. I haven't read for you in a while, and I've got all my friends real and imagined. There's Lion and Little Poe, and Mama Bunny and Daddy Ruff Ruff. And I have a book called Who Wants a Cheap Rhinoceros by Shel Silverstein. Who Wants a Cheap Rhinoceros? Oh, it's kind of cool, the book cover, so I'm going to show you. Because if you open, you can't see the whole thing. He's hugging him here, but look. I guess he stepped on his toe. He's going, ooch, each, ouch, ooch, each, ouch. This book was written in 1964. That's a long time ago. I was only four years old, and I'm old. Can you guess how old I am? Who wants a cheap rhinoceros? I know of one for sale with floppy ears and cloppy feet and a friendly waggy tail. He's sweet and fat and huggable and quiet as a mouse. And there are lots of things that he can do around your house. For instance, you can use him for a coat hanger. He's a terrific back scratcher. And he makes a very lovely lamp. Look at him lighting up the house. When I do this, you could see the holes in my nose. He will eat bad report cards before your parents get them. But he's not too great at opening doors. Looks like he crunched that one. He makes a good, bloody, ferocious pirate. He's saving the damsel in distress from the bloody pirate. On guard! can open beer cans for your uncle. And on Sundays, you can read him the comics. He will be glad to turn a jump rope. Skip to my loo, 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 skip to my loo. One, two, three, four, turn around. If he gets a turn. He's not too careful about watching where he walks. Ouch, each, ouch, ouch. But he's very handy at collecting extra allowance from your father. Hand it over, bub. He makes an unsinkable battleship. I'm going to show both sides of this. There he is. And there's the fisherman going, what? But he is not too interested in taking his bath. There's the bathtub, and he's pawing him in, saying, No, 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 it's not Saturday. Do I have to take a bath? I don't know why. I love taking baths. It's so much fun. It's so nice. It is very comfortable when you sit on his lap. Oh, that looks nice and cozy. But not too comfortable when he sits on your lap. He's 
terrific at helping your grandmother make donuts. That looks like fun. And he's great for not letting your mother hit you when you haven't really done anything bad. He's very nice about crawling into bed with you on cold winter nights. And he's pretty good at tiptoeing downstairs for a midnight snack. Shh. And he'll gladly eat scraps from the table. I used to have a friend whose house I would eat over, my best friend, and she had a dog, so when her mom used to give me stuff that I didn't like to eat. I would just give the scraps to the dog under the table and I'd go and pretend I was eating. I was a picky eater. He's terrific at being Ben and Charlie, two desperate crooks. Put him up. Put him up. And he loves to surprise you. glad to help your aunt knit a sweater. Especially if it's for him. He's careful about not leaving rhinoceros tracks around the house. See those footprints and where did they come from? Oh, that rascally rhinoceros. He's fun to take care of when he is sick. And he's great for plowing your field if you're a farmer. He's hard to build a house for. But he's lots of fun at the beach. because he's great at imitating a shark. Help! If you look closely, you see what he's doing? He's imitating a shark. He's wonderful for playing records if you have a phonograph. Guys, you might not know this, but once we used to play records instead of CDs. And it had a little needle that made the records make sound. So this is an old book because hardly anyone listens to record players anymore. On, a, on Halloween, you could dress him up, but he won't like it. He loves to play hide and seek. Like this page. He's good for yelling at. And he is easy to love. 
And that, my friends, is the book called Who Wants a Cheap Rhinoceros by Shel Silverstein. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great day. And remember, use your imagination. It can take you anywhere. Bye.